The theater was actually dormant for 60 years. It was built in 1905, it operated until 1958, and you know, and during that time it was a segregated space. These buildings that exist in our downtowns, our main streets, uh, they are what we call vessels of community memory. We started with a master plan, uh, we did a couple of small renovations. There was a lot of dialogue within the community at points, you know, asking questions about whether this was worth the time and effort. We rebuilt the fly tower that had fallen down, uh, and then it was a two phase on the main project, um, stabilizing this building, roof and walls, just making it safe and to stand up, and then went on to the full restoration and addition work. And then we needed to incorporate all of the modern amenities like air conditioning, heating, sprinklers, uh, and then all of the performance and theatrical systems, which was a whole new layer on top of the historic building layer. Right. The decision was made pretty, pretty much community-wide that it was worth the time and investment. I think the thing that I'm most, um, most proud of that they did was really uh, taking the very first event in this space, not for the Black Tie Gala, but for the reintegration of the space um, for the first time in 60 years. And that was a really, um, it was a powerful moment and one that I'm really happy that they took the time to recognize. We continue to get the high of seeing people see the space for the first time. The space felt beautiful. I sat in the balcony and it was absolutely like gorgeous to see everybody like dancing and all the murals and stuff on the ceilings and walls like it's really pretty in there. Together this project and the Virginian opening within six months of each other really are showing people uh, that not only uh, is the investment from a city perspective going to continue in downtown but now we have so many private developers and coming to see the value in this community. Mm -hmm.